All right, y'all, afternoon, Chief Prepper here. So, I just listened to Marf Rugel News, Marf, over there in Washington State about an hour ago. Apparently, there's a no-fly order given for Iran between 9.30 their time and 6.30, or 6 the next morning, which equates to Pacific time about 7.30, I think is what he said, so it would be 7.30 to 5. Uh, you need to be aware of that. Now, in light of all the shit that's happening in the world, for a while I was keeping a small amount of cash on hand at the house, but when I have it at the house, I tend to spend it, so I stopped doing that. So, I'm on my way to get some more cash via the ATM. Um, so, well, when I get home, I'll do a really short video showing you the little camp lantern I have. I just charged another one like it and one of the same brand that's a little bigger. Uh, they are now in my Faraday cage bags. Uh, and then cash on hand. I went by REI today after me and my, well, after my wife exercised. I was pretty much just waiting on her uh, while she was exercising. But she dropped off her bike to have it tuned up. cost about 200 bucks and while I was in there REI has the actual heavy duty heavy plastic water containers alright now they're expensive they would be good to have if you're going to transport them long distance alright uh, the only danger to them is no different than the blue ones I have which I think are my scepter uh, and the Coleman coolers if you drop them on concrete there's a good chance they're gonna crack and then they won't be any good anymore. Um, but they're 72 bucks a piece, so that shit's expensive. But one of the lessons learned out of Helen is you need a way to transport water. So I have six or seven of the seven gallon versions of the blue ones with the spigot on them already, but leaning towards going and getting at least two of the hard, 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 hard ones. They look real similar to the uh, the ones we had in the Army. Alright, the tan water jugs. So, lessons out of there. You need to be able to wash your clothes by hand. You need a clothesline. You need washboards or a trash can with a lid plunger to agitate your clothes with the soap. Um, better if you had a ringer because it will take less time to uh, for your clothes to dry and then it's less work too because you don't have to sit there and twist them and try and get all the water out of them. The ringer will do that for you. There's a learning curve with the ringer. You don't want to stuff something in there so big that it binds it up and breaks it because they can't break. Uh, cash protection medicine backup power. I got to check on my uh, Blue Eddy to make sure it's okay. I'm pretty 98% sure it is. 99. It's just one of those things when you're using that kind of system you need to check on it periodically because shit happens. So. Oh. Uh, I used to buy electrolyte supplements from REI and they kind of got kind of pricey. Uh, I buy what's called thermo tabs from HEB, the major grocery store chain down here in South, South Texas. Uh, REI now has them, They're, and they call them electrolyte substitutes. So that is something that I would definitely put in your preps. Because if you go from being in air conditioning and being really comfortable in AC and then you're out in the weather all the fucking time, if you're like me, I'm a, I have hyperhidrosis, so I sweat a lot. And I can sweat so much that uh, my toenails start disintegrating on my right on my right foot. So, and then that doesn't count the muscle cramping and all the other shit that comes with it. So, I discovered electrolyte substitutes uh, right before I was quitting work, and I've continued taking them pretty much for the whole time. Now, having said that, if you're someone who has high blood pressure or you're borderline high blood pressure, you need to talk to your doctor before you start taking electrolyte substitutes. So basically, if you're taking the good ones, it's got potassium, it's got uh, magnesium, zinc in it, but the potassium basically is salt. So 
salt makes your blood pressure go up. So be aware of that. If you got any of that kind of shit going on or you're on blood thinners, make sure you talk to your doctor before you start taking them. Actually, talk to your doctor before you start taking them, period. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm pretty sure with the no-fly zone over fucking Iran where they're canceling all inbound and outbound flights that, you know, if something happens or something's probably going to happen, so, you know, base, you know, adjust the time frame from Pacific time zone, 7.30, so that's 9.30 here, that's 10.30 on the East Coast, right? So, just be aware. There's a good chance, I'm guessing, some shit's going to happen, so. More and more information is coming out about the uh, land grab for the quartz mine and the fucking uh, lithium mining in uh, western North Carolina, I think. Uh, it's atrocious. Like I said earlier today, you got that another hurricane. It's probably going to have big landfall as a Cat 3. I'm guessing, just me, it's going to be a Cat 4. So, uh, and then the election is over. Basically, at that point, it's a, it's a bad deal for everybody. You know, like I said, you need to consider where you want to be when the United States uh, starts crumbling like Rome. It's going to become a socialist thing, and then after that, you can expect them to do a gun buy, mandatory gun buyback. And, uh, you know, I can tell you right now there are going to be people who are going to say, fuck you, it ain't happening. I'm not saying I'm going to say that. I know people probably will. Not to mention, there's a boatload of guns out there that are untraceable because people have bought and sold them so many times that the original owner doesn't know where it is. They can say, I, I, don't, I don't remember who I sold it to. And they say, do you have a bill of sale? And I'm like, no, nah, it's not required in Texas. So they'll catch hell tracking it all. But it doesn't mean they won't try and it doesn't mean they won't be heavy handed and do all the dirty shit that they do. But, you know some of those motherfuckers don't go home that night then they'll start rethinking what the fuck they're doing so information is knowledge and power a little little prep a lot uh, I got my radio I got my flashlights I got my uh, lamp camp, camp lanterns external speaker and iPod will all be in a Faraday bag uh, in about 45 minutes all right. stay safe y'all deep prepper out <laughs>